Let's turn to sanctions now. We know that the US, the UK, the EU have responded to this invasion with sanctions against Russian oligarchs. Well, the latest move by the UK government is to sanction the owner of Chelsea football club, Roman Abramovich. His assets will be frozen. That includes Chelsea. But the club will be allowed to keep playing. We'll look at that in just a moment. But first, let's just remind ourselves about the background to this. Roman Abramovich is a Russian billionaire. His wealth dates back to the collapse of the Soviet Union, a time when new Russian companies assumed state assets. Like all oligarchs, particularly those who became rich in the 1990s, he has had to deal with Vladimir Putin. Now, Mr. Abramovich denies having a close relationship with Vladimir Putin, but the UK government has described him as a pro-Kremlin oligarch associated with Mr. Putin, with whom Mr. Abramovich has had a close relationship with for decades. The UK government also adding that he's obtained financial benefits from that association. Here's the UK Culture Secretary. Abramovich has links to Putin, who is, who is mounting a barbaric and evil attack against the people of Ukraine. Well, let's focus now on the impact on uh, Chelsea Football Club itself. Mr Abramovich bought Chelsea back in 2003, and this is what he said then. I haven't thought about how much money I'm prepared to spend. I suppose that depends on how well we play and how determined we are to win. If I feel we need to buy any particular player to get the results we want, I'll just spend more money. And he certainly did. Mr Abramovich has loaned one and a half billion pounds to Chelsea and the club has become one of Europe's most successful teams. Last week, Mr Abramovich said that he'd made the difficult decision to sell Chelsea. That came after calls to sanction him in Parliament. Well, on that one and a half billion, he said, I will not be asking for any loans to be repaid, adding that all net proceeds from the sale will be donated for the benefit of all the victims of the war in Ukraine. That statement was criticised for what it didn't say. Here's Alan Shearer. Still no condemnation um, from Roman or the club about what's happening in Ukraine. So now Mr Abramovich's assets have been frozen. Let's take a look at how the sanctions impact Chelsea and its sale. A special licence has been issued by the government so that Chelsea can keep playing their games. Chelsea is banned from selling more tickets and also selling merchandise and also buying and selling players. And a government source told the Times newspaper that he, Mr Abramovich, will not get a penny from the sale of the club. My colleague Laura Scott explains more. Yes, yeah, so under the terms of this special licence that the government have issued, in essence to allow the club to continue functioning whilst trying to hit Abramovich with those sanctions, they've said that the club can fulfil its fixtures, that season ticket holders and other ticket holders are still able to attend matches, that the players and the staff can continue to be paid and that what they can do is spend reasonable costs on travelling to and from games and also hosting home fixtures like this Sunday. But what is clear is that they don't want Abramovich to profit or benefit from the club in any way. So that means they can't sell any extra tickets. Um, although there isn't a transfer window at the moment, the club wouldn't be able to buy or sell players while Abramovich is under sanctions. The merchandise shop is closed. We actually spoke to some fans here who were some of the last ones in the club shop buying their shirts. That has now been shut. And, of course, this does impact on what it means for the sale of the club. That is halted at the moment under the terms of this licence, but we understand that the government is open to considering a new licence which would enable the club to be sold, but only if it can be ensured that none of the proceeds were to go to Roman Abramovich. 